Good afternoon, Vegan here. I'm gonna give you some tips for shopping online today, specifically Amazon. Uh, I would consider myself really good at shopping online and like everyone else with this pandemic, I've been doing a ton of online shopping. Uh, my friends and family will often ask me uh, what particular product they should buy on Amazon or um, if like this particular item they want is a good deal on Amazon. Uh, I've been an Amazon seller for over five years, so I have a little extra insight. Uh, so let's jump right in. The first thing I want to talk about is the structure of Amazon. Like most people know, it's a marketplace. So first you have items that are just sold by Amazon and fulfilled by Amazon. Then you have FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon. So it's a third party seller, but Amazon handles the customer service and fulfillment. And then third, you have merchant fulfilled. And so it's shipped by the merchant. Um, but you still have the A to Z guarantee like you do with any other item you buy on Amazon. Amazon's always gonna make you whole. Generally, when I'm searching on Amazon, I will click the little uh, Prime Now box when searching so I only get Amazon and Fulfilled by Amazon because I find that you get those items faster, you don't have to pay for shipping if you have Prime. Um, and also, I know it's not coming from far away from out of the, out of the country, uh, so I normally click that. So my number one tip uh, for buying stuff on Amazon is to download the Keepograph extension. It's available as an extension in your browser. And when you're on Amazon, you just kind of scroll down just below the product and the graph will show up and it'll show you the price history of the product. Uh, so I'll show you an example now. So right now I'm on some soy sauce that my uh, uncle suggested that I buy. And so you can see the price is $18.85 and that seems really expensive for a bottle of soy sauce. So um, if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see the graph. And I can see that, oh, it's actually pretty low, that even a month ago it was $22. Um, and so yeah, you can just scroll and see like if that's a good price. Uh, on like the corner here, you can, it defaults to three months, but you can see a year's worth or all, the like entire history. I normally think three months is like a pretty good amount of time because even if it was way cheaper like six months ago, what are the chances it's going to be that cheap again over like a six month period? It's price probably just went up because the demand went up. So normally I think three months is pretty good, but I'll still sometimes look back at a year and see where else um, the price has been. So I'm just going to show you another example of an item where the graph really comes in handy. Uh, so this is a scooter my husband used to have. And as you can see, there's really no buying options right now because uh, it's sold out. Uh, but if you go down to the graph here, you can see that when Amazon does sell it, it's $3.99. And then right now you can buy it used for $8.19 because it's sold out. Um, so yeah, generally, if Amazon's selling it, it's going to be way cheaper. And some people will sit on listings and wait until Amazon sells out and then jack their price way up and then people will buy it because they can't get it from Amazon. They can only get it from you. Uh, so this one shows that. And if you look at like the year long one tier, you can see like just it really, um, there's like a wide variety of prices of it going up and down. Um, so this is like a good one to look at. And you just kind of have to wait it out until Amazon gets it back in stock to get a good deal. Or if you really decide that you really need it right now, you can pay $800. All right, I'm gonna show you one more example of the Keepograph. Uh, so this is for baby foot and if you look at these orange uh like blocks on the screen this is when amazon has it in stock and uh so that can be useful uh if you want to buy something and you're like oh it's really expensive right now but amazon doesn't have it in stock you can look at the overall year graph and see how often they get it in stock whether it's worth it uh for for you to wait it out for Amazon to get it in stock. This particular one, the manufacturer sells it as well as FBA for the same price, so it doesn't matter, but some stuff, the price will jump up a bunch. Um, so just, yeah, look at the orange blocks and you can see how often Amazon normally gets it in stock and whether you wanna wait it out. Uh, so another thing to check out when you're buying on Amazon is to check out the seller. Uh, so I have an Amiibo up here on the screen and you can see right here who it's sold by and then it's fulfilled by Amazon. So if you just click on the seller, it'll pull up and you can see their reviews. And so they have 100% reviews, 100% uh, positive reviews for the last uh, 90 days and 98 li lifetime. You really want it as close to 100 as possible. Um, 
And so you can look through and read the reviews and see like what the bad reviews say. If there's if there's you know some up here, you can keep scrolling through them. But you really want as close to pop. You really want like as close to 100% as possible. Um, even like a 90 like this one looks pretty good, but like a 95 can honestly be bad. So just read through the reviews. And then the other thing I'll check out is if you click on their name, it'll say their storefront. And you can see what products they sell. And so like if I'm buying like an Amiibo and they're selling a bunch of Amiibos and like video games and toys, I'll be like, okay, that seems like a good seller. But if it's like they have like two Amiibos and then they have shampoo and then they also have um, furniture and it's like a weird variety of items, I'm kind of less likely to buy from them because I, I, it seems like they probably are a reseller, which isn't necessarily make them a bad seller, but just may, but know that I'm probably getting mostly products that have been like bought from tar Target and resold. Uh, so I'll just kind of check out what they're buying to see. I don't know, you get you get the vibe. All right, I'm going to show you one more seller on here. Again, with the Amiibo, I thought this would be a good place to find resellers. So that's why I chose this product. Um, so you got the Amiibo up here. And uh, so we're going to click on their, their storefront. And they don't have a lot of reviews. They only have three and they're kind of weirdly worded. So I'm kind of suspect about that. And we just have received, product was delivered to me a few days ago. And then the product was as, as expected and is very good for a beginner to use to get used to the li this life choice, which just sounds like a very weird review. Um, and then, so we'll, and then they, so it's 67 positive, although the one negative one wasn't a, bad review necessarily so that's kind of weird but okay so then let's look at their storefront as well all right so we have pop finals which seems in line with amiibos um some more toys and things then we have forklift truck seat installations some plant stuff a stool um then they have 150 pages of items um which is necessarily a bad thing to have a lot but yeah it's kind of like seeming like a kind of weirder variety so, and based on those like three kind of weird reviews and then the weird variety, I'd probably be like, mm, let me find another seller uh, to buy this item from. So I'll just, yeah, look at the reviews and look at the, um, the products. All right, so the next thing is to read reviews. And you're thinking you just told me to read the reviews, but those are the seller reviews. You wanna read the product reviews as well. And uh, don't just look at the star rating, read a couple uh, positive ones and a couple negative ones and get the overall gist of what the reviews say. It's also a really good way to find out if uh, fakes are being sold of that product on Amazon. Uh, definitely don't, like if one person says it's a fake, then, you know, but if you get see tons of reviews of people saying it's fake or that it's just like falling apart uh, when it's like a supposed to be a high quality product, uh, then you can find out that you have fakes. And I'll show you an example of one. I bought a hairdryer a couple years ago and there were tons of fakes on Amazon at the time. Uh, so I'll show you it on the screen. And like, it's got four stars, but if you look at the ratings, like one of like the first one comes up is one star talking about how it's probably counterfeit and it doesn't have the hologram, hologram code. It's now sold by Amazon, so it's not a problem anymore. But at the time I bought it from somewhere else because there were too many fakes on Amazon. I didn't want to risk it. Um, you can also check um, like if you're buying a particular product, go to their website and see like who they say authorized sellers were. And at that time for that hairdryer, they said, do not buy from Amazon. They are not an authorized seller. Um, so I bought it from somewhere else. And my last tip is to check Target um, for especially like household items that are like not very expensive. Uh, check them because sometimes they're cheaper and also you can buy them in smaller quantities. I'll show you two examples. It's actually getting better on Amazon now. There were some products like command strips used to be really expensive on Amazon and not, now they're not. But I'll show you two examples. So just always just check Target if the price seems a little bit high or you wanna buy a lower quantity. All right, so the first item is this shampoo and conditioner. Um, so it's $12 on Amazon for, for them. And then if you just go to Target for just the conditioner, it's $3.39. I'm sure it's the same for the shampoo. So it's about like half the price. Um, and then another item I'll show you is, so there's this tea, but you have to buy a four pack of it. Uh, as if you go buy it from Target, you only have to buy the one. It is a tiny bit more expensive at Target, but I do know this tea does go on sale at Target and probably for the same price. And also like, you may not want four boxes of tea. You don't know if you like it. So a lot of cleaning products are sold in like large quantities on Amazon. So check out Target 
Um, and if you have like the Target debit card, it doesn't cost any money and you get 5% off and you always get free shipping on Target. So just a little chip, tip to check out Target as well. All right, well, those are some tips for shopping on Amazon. I hope that helped you out. Let me know if you wanna hear more videos like this, more Amazon secrets, um, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.